an outright ban as opposed to permitting a license? What else have you been banned? Well, not, uh, not permitted at all because, well, maybe you can finish the question. Uh, I, did, I did see that the town of Eusham, uh, New, uh, New Jersey, which is in Eusham? Uh, yeah, yeah, Eusham. I think it's uh, Somerset. I think it's Somerset, Camden. okay. Um, Camden County. Camden County. Yeah. Okay. They, they, they essentially prohibited uh, uh, anyone under the age of 18 or 18 and under um, from smoking, e vaping, whatever, e cigarette, the, the use of or, or possession of in public spaces. That, that, that's already a state law. That is a state law, no. So you, you can't it's use it or otherwise. Okay. Okay. Back to my question from a defense standpoint. Because again, we've seen this in other areas in town. Would we be better off doing an outright um, for getting any status for selling, as opposed to making it subject to a license where the application is going to be appealed? Is there a possibility of a license application being appealed? It's it's really a process question I'm asking, and follow you understand what I'm asking. You? You're you're saying that it should be banned. No, no, no. I'm asking, what I'm afraid of is we're permitting a licensing process where somebody can request a license to sell these. Right. They right. Can't, they can't, so they can't right. sell anything, basically anything else. And it, right. And I think we've gone very, very, I think we did a real good job going as far as we could with this. Right. But I'm asking a question from a defense standpoint. Okay, somebody's going to submit an application. They're going to ask for a, another store. We're going to be left with two stores, one on Wilmot, one on Morris. Okay, somebody's going to come forward and they're going to want to put a, a, a store, let's say, on Speak One. Okay? And with the licensing process, they, they may make an accusation that we are arbitrary or capricious, is the way we denied the application. You know, are we better off trying to even limit it further as opposed to even opening the door to people actually seeking a license? New businesses can come in and apply. Mm -hmm. um, the ordinance sets a 500 foot uh, provision, so within a school uh, setting, you would not be able to open a business there. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but, I, but I think that you have to be careful and not right. Yeah, I think asking. there, from a, from a legal standpoint, it, it could be challenged on um, whether, whether we have the ability to outright ban a specific mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, we're not limiting the number of licenses. That's yeah. right. We're so, not. Yep. so if one if one wanted to open up on, on, on Washington Street or or Avenue, they could as long as they went within 500 feet of a park or, or a uh, or a school and they paid the thousand dollars a year for the license. It, it's 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 you you if you get a chance, um, talk to a high schooler or a middle school. Oh no, we're agreeing with your passion for this. And, and it's it's a uh, it's. It's a business. It's a business within a business within a business. Um, from kids selling kids, getting it from like you know we go back to our youth when we used to maybe get beer or something. You go to know your kid. Well, it's the same thing with Jewel. It's 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 an epidemic. Um, and uh, I don't think you know. I heard I talked to a random high schooler from Baskin Ridge. I won't give his name. Um, and he's really getting an education on what takes place. They vape right in the, in the school, in the, in the classroom, because it's like, oh, no vapor now, the stuff they got out right. there. It's the size, like you said, of a, of, uh, of a uh, USB port. It, it's, look at it, it's this big, it's tiny. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's gonna, the, the key, what, what triggered, Steve, this is more important, is this. Some towns wanted to go after the kids. You see a kid smoking, they pay you get a fund of $250 or $500, or you drive the kid to court, the parents, you know, it's, these, they're going to get addicted. So when they're starting to vape at 13 years old, they're getting addicted to nicotine because the levels are so high. Mm -hmm. You know, from a foreign smoker, very difficult to give up cigarettes. It's very difficult. So if you're 13 and you're vaping on an everyday basis, What's happening to the medical side of your body, your brain? I'm not a doctor, I'm not in that field. But if you start reading your research of this stuff, it's, it's really, and I think the FDA is close to doing some stuff because it's becoming such I think we're there. And I'm wondering, can you even limit the number of licenses? Because I mean, you say, because again, money, you've got to follow the money. 
So well, I don't let that up to the league. And, um, but I'm not, I think you know, to, to Val's point, you know, and do we have to work, I'll, I'll work with the planner to see if there's a zoning uh, ordinance that we can work on as far as permitted use, not permitted use. And the council can certainly put in a limit on a number of licenses that can operate in town. Bob took in the corner of the market strip because both regional shops are in for it. Both my work on <laughs> well, anyway, that's where we're at. We'll have plenty of time to discuss. I'm sure the public will come out, business people will come out, public will come out, school models will come out, kids will come out. We'll hopefully, it'll generate a good discussion um, uh, because this is something that's not just Morristown, it's national. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.